states across the country are passing legislation cracking down on illegal immigration. The states are taking action due to the federal government's inability to control this crisis. Illinois, though, has been moving in the opposite direction. Illinois passed a law barring employers from using a federal database to check a worker's immigration status. But faced with a federal lawsuit, Illinois put the measure on hold. Bill Tucker reports. It was a compromise reached quietly. The Attorney General of Illinois agreeing to postpone implementing a new law that would make it illegal for employers in the state to use the federal program E-Verify to check on the legal status of new hires. The Attorney General declined our request for a comment, but a supporter of the E-Verify program from Illinois welcomed the news by the governor's administration. They really had bad judgment when they signed this bill into law. And I think they're beginning to posture and realizing that they're on the wrong side of common sense and they're on the wrong side of public opinion on this. Homeland Secretary Michael Chertoff was pleased and said that DHS will, quote, communicate with each of the Illinois employers enrolled in the E-Verify to let them know that they may continue to use E-Verify without fear of state enforcement action on January 1st. Homeland Security wants all employers interested in signing up for the program to know that DHS welcomes them. And there are employers who want to use the E-Verify program, saying that it makes complying with the law to hire only citizens or legal immigrants easier. One is Jason Spear, Quality Float Systems. We need a tool uh, to comply with it, and it's hard, and this it seems like a very easy solution to, to accomplish that. DHS is emphasizing that the program has an accuracy rate of 99.7%, an error rate of three people out of a 1,000. Critics of the program challenge those statistics. The department is stressing to employers as well as employees that a letter indicating a problem or a no match with a social security number and a name is just that, a problem which needs to be fixed. It is not a letter ordering the employer to fire anyone. Now, the postponement of the implementation of the law does not mean that DHS has dropped its lawsuit against the state of Illinois. The lawsuit will proceed, but the state legislature is currently considering amending its law to allow the use of E-Verify by employers, Kitty, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. It's either going to go to court and be resolved in court, or the legislature will take care of it. Well, just because Illinois put it on hold doesn't mean they're dropping it in any way. No, no, not in any way at all. Right now, in fact, it's a 60-day stay. Uh, you know, they hope that they can get this resolved, perhaps get the legislature back in session and have them amend the law to allow the use of E-Verify. Bill, your, your interviews made a very good point that E-Verify is a tool that companies can use to right. make their life simple. Well, yeah, the law does require, believe it or not, that you hire either citizens or legal immigrants. This E-Verify is a tool to do that. Uh, people who are against it, Kitty, have frequently portrayed it as, as you know, these no-match letters or firing letters. And DHS today, when I spoke with them, emphasized this is not a letter to fire somebody. This is a letter to say there's a problem. Look deeper into it. Very interesting stuff. Thanks very much, Bill Tucker.